Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got this. Yeah. Um, so another thing people were asking about in the comments is we want to know what White's thoughts are on Suicide Boys. I actually, um, at first, you know, at first I had my, hey, Chaser, hit me in the, with another one of these non-alcoholic bushes. <laughs> Ready to get fucking drunk today, boy. Whoa! I'm drunk on life, baby. I'm drunk on life. I've been taking sweet tea shots. As a matter of fact, let me get another shot of sweet tea with the two limes. This is all going to come into play later, y'all. For funny. sure. It's, We're gonna... it's actually funny. It's very sad. It sucks, but it's funny, and it's gonna get, we'll get into that later. Yeah. But sure. uh, Suicide Boys, at first, I was on the fence because uh, I was on the fence because a few reasons, and I'm just going to put it out there. A lot of motherfuckers won't. Um, I'm white. Let's just start there. Mm. Caucasian, not W-Y-T. That's number one, I'm Caucasian. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, the goddamn bushes. Woo-hoo! Get my goddamn sh double shot of sweet tea. That's a sweet tea Squirt shot. Squirt us a little lime in there. Yeah. See, you got to figure out how to trick your brain into thinking you're still drinking when you're not. And again, this will get funny here in a little while. For sure, while. we're going to talk about all that. For right? sure. But Because um, everybody that knows me knows about right now. By now, I'd be taking a shot of Crown. And, and then we're only five minutes in the interview. Yeah. Well, it's still early in the day, but still. Um, there's no way this interview is going to end up drunk, trust me. <laughs> now, I did go outside and hit a joint, and I got still more to smoke, but yeah. we're going to go uh, break here in a minute. But, um, so I was on the fence at first because, number one, I'm Caucasian. And um, at first, I didn't know they were white. And then a partner of mine, uh, he just, uh, he always is always on, um, He's always online looking for the new shit. He's just he's just one of those YouTube guys. He just stays on YouTube and just mm -hmm. constantly finding new shit. So anyway, sorry. Uh, suicide Boys, ch cheers. Sweet tea, baby. It's a, 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 a crown, uh, it's a crown uh, uh, supplement. For sure. That lime, get that lime tea, baby. Chasing with that bush <laughs> non-alcoholic. <laughs> make, it, hey, make it work, that's that placebo, baby. You got a tricky brain. Yeah, for sure. So, I was on the fence at first because I'm white. And then I found out they were white, and I was like, mm, I feel like they were trying a little too hard. But then one day I was riding. And see, this was after like somebody let me hear them on my phone. You know when somebody just hands you a phone? Hey, man, listen to this shit. You can't really hear that shit. Yeah. So one day I was riding. And uh, matter of fact, it was West Phillips. Shout out to West Phillips again, man. It's, there's going to be a lot of rest in peace West Phillips. And it's, it's, it's fucked up, but it's, it is what yeah. it is. Um, so... Me and Wes were riding in my in uh in the Cadillac, the bank with the bank with the bump in it, because he was trying to let me hear it in his little F one fifty. I'm like, dude, you got four blown speakers, can't right. hear this shit. Get in the car. So we got in my car, I cranked that shit up, and of course the first things I noticed is you know it's straight three six mafia Memphis style beats. You know what I'm saying? Ninety nine percent three six mafia style beats, even three six mafia samples and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right. So me being the loyal member of the mafia I am, I immediately called Paul. Yeah. I mean, I ain't, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not lying to anybody. I mean, it is what it is. I immediately called Paul. Like, hey man, you heard about these guys called the Suicide Boys. I think they're out of New Orleans or somewhere down in Louisiana or something, which I think, I think they are. I think they're Louisiana, ain't they? I can't remember if they're California or Louisiana. It's it's somewhere, but yeah. I, uh, I told him, I was like, uh, these dudes got a lot of samples and shit. And I was like, you know me, I'm always looking out, and, you know, trying to, Anytime I hear something, I'm gonna always put it in the boss's ear. Yeah. And then, um, then like two months later, Juicy signs them or some shit. I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? But then I realized, you know, Juicy's one of the people. When he hears something, he jumps on it. If it's yeah. something he's interested in, he's like, oh, like, oh, there's, there's there's a bag right there. Let's go get that. Yeah. And uh, you know, he already knew it was a bag. He could work with them because they've already been using samples, so it would be easier just to work with. Them. You know yeah. What I'm and plus, they got that. They had to go through them to get those yeah, clear. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I heard a lot of the stuff they put out. I, I'm I'm not just a super duper fan. I love their beats, their tracks, and stuff. But you know, like, uh, I feel like it was a type of phase, kind of also. Right. You know. Right. Um, right. But um, I I ain't got no, no number love for them. Like uh, they they had some dope ass shit. Oh, really for sure. Did. They really did. For sure. And I think a lot of it is just, um, I guess people wanted they to hear. Own, they had their own swag, too, with that for sure. sound. And for sure. For sure. Like a modernized, different. yeah. A modernized 3-6 Mafia sound coming out of a bunch of white boys. It was pretty dope, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, another thing too. They should have called me to be their leader, and then everything would have been fine. Oh, dude! Especially since people thought you were dead anyway. I know, right? Just pop back out with a suicide boy. Like, oh, I told you he was dead. Yeah. He came back to life. <laughs> All across he the survived the bear attack. He's back. He got attacked by a bear and suicide. They came back with the suicide boys dressed as a bear. Oh my god! Oh my god. It just all comes together.